hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i'll show you an easy way of how you can create your own lights or presets within photoshop that are going to help you to color grade your images faster with just a single click so basically lights are more or it is a short form for lookup tables and you have to create that and usually in photoshop we have those lights that are usually a default that are all that come within photoshop in order to access those you can simply come right here to the adjustment layer and then you come right here to color lookup and you can go through the default lookup tables that come within your photoshop so just look at what they give you but these don't work so well because you don't they don't know the amount of colors that you need in your images so i want to show you how you can easily create such a preset that is going to help you color grade with just a single click within Photoshop. And as you can see, this image has already been retouched. And those interested in checking out my all the way I retouch images in Photoshop, make sure you check out the videos on the channel or I'll link up a video right above here so that you can check out my process when it comes to retouching images. So let me show you a quick before and after for the image. So this is an image before. And this is the after retouching, before, after, before, after. So I want to show you how you can create a color lookup table. So in order to create a color lookup table, the first step is to ensure that you merge everything in your photo. So you make sure you only have a background there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to merge all these layers by pressing Shift Command E on the keyboard. Or you can use Shift Control E. On the keyboard and that is going to merge whichever layer that you have open right here the reason for this is because when you create these numerous layers and you don't merge them into one layer it means that your light is not going to be saved the very right and correct way so make sure you merge everything and you have only one layer when it comes to your image so after that we're just going to come and create our light so we're just going to be color grading this and i show you how i was able to get the image i look the right way so this is the image after capture one and that is more of evening out the skin color but this is not close to what i wanted when it came to color grading the image so what i'll do when it comes to photoshop and creating the light i'm just going to come and remember when you're creating a light make sure you take it to the maximum or the extreme because you are going to be able to adjust the light after applying it via the opacity so for every adjustment you are going to be making on this image you are going to make sure that we take it to the maximum so the very first thing i would do or what i did i just come right here to the hue and saturation and first of all come to my reds and i'm going to take my lightness down just like that and that is going to cool down the skin tone just a little bit to around I'm just going to go with around negative 32 and that looks okay yeah i'm going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer then come and change the blend mode to multiply and simply reduce on the opacity and take take it up slightly so i'm just going to take it down a little bit after around six is good for this image the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my selective color and i'm going to come under the blacks in this case and i'm just going to intensify the blacks up to around one or two one is okay and i'm going to add a little bit of blues to the image just like that so i negative two is good again what i'll do next i'm going to come and come to my color balance and i'm going to play around with the colors right here so for this case you can add whichever color for example to the shadows midtones and highlights and for this case i'm just going to come and add a color to my highlights so i'm just going to add a slight bit of cyan's to my highlights and i'm going to add a little bit of greens to my highlights and that is going to make the skin look slightly better and for the shadows i'm going to add a little bit of blues to cool down the shadows of the image just a little bit so after i've done all that i'm just going to come and create one final adjustment layer that is going to be my hue and saturation or let me add a little bit of contrast to the image so i'm just going to come to brightness and contrast and add 
some contrast to the image so basically this is what i did when i was color grading this in photoshop so remember let's say a quick before and after for the color grading this was the image initially before and this is what we have achieved color grading it within a photoshop so right now we just want to save this as a lot or as a preset to apply it on for example if i told you have a number of images that you have been working on and you want the same look so make sure that you don't put everything in a group make sure you leave the layers the way you have been working on them and you don't group them so anything is going to be saving it as a color lookup table or as a lot so just come right here to file then you come to export so when you come to export just come right here to color lookup tables so you come to file then you come to export then come to color lookup tables and after that it is going to bring up this window and you can add a description for your lot for example we can name this to maybe melanin melanin lot and i'm just going to control a and copy that and you can add copyright information to your lot then make sure the grid point is 32 and you select medium reason for this is because you want the lot to load faster within photoshop and make sure you save it as a cube file so make sure you save it as a cube right here if at all you're going to be using it in photoshop so that it can load a little bit faster and just come and press ok then you have to save it in a location that you want so i'm just going to paste what i copied initially before and i'm going to save it on my desktop so that i can easily find it i'm just going to press save so it is going to take a few seconds and it is going to save it so it is now done saving so the light has been successfully saved so i'm just going to first of all group this so that i show you if at all there is any difference between the initial image and the lot we have been able to create so i'm just going to come and group this adjustments press ctrl g so i'm just going to hide this and i'm sel i select the image come to adjustments and i apply the lot as able to save a few moments before so i'm just going to come to color lookup and i'm going to come to load 3d lot right here make sure you select this and come to load 3d lot simply left click right there and it's going to open up your finder or wherever your lat may be stored so i'm just going to come and i look for my lat so remember i saved it as melanin lat so i'm just going to click on it and simply press on open and it's going to uh, load and color grade the image just look at what it has done this is the before and this is the after and there is no difference between what we color graded and what we have been able to import as a lot so if at all you feel it is too much just come to the opacity and simply drop down or reduce on the opacity of your lot so basically this is it for this story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tools and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating